Hello, Virgo. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and I do hope all of you are doing well. This is your monthly tarot card reading for February 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe. And as always, take what resonates, leave the rest, so let's take a look at your cards for this month. First week in February, you have the Ten of Cups. Nice start. Second week, the Knight of Coins. Third week, the Nine of Swords. And the last week in February, you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, Virgo. Taking a look at your first week here in February 2023, you have the Ten of Cups, which is the card of being content, happy, all is well, grateful for the things that you have, the relationships, your home. So it is primarily um, an energy, um, a state of well-being, feeling fulfilled. So at the beginning of February... Having gone through the month of January with all the changing of the planetary alignment, so many planets were in retrograde, going direct, and that can take a little bit of time for things to get kind of get going. So now there's more of a feeling here of everything is on the right track now, so to speak, Virgo, as with this 10 energy, it can mean that things are settling down and you can just kind of relax Certainly can be um, this way uh, in regards to the holiday season is certainly now in the rate, the, um, what I want to say is rear view mirror. Let's check out the clarifying card for this. And you have the six of cups. Truly feeling uh, divinely blessed. So everything seems like it's in balance for you, Virgo. And if it is not, if this is not resonating with you, then these cards are showing up as an indication to truly be grateful for what you do have. Find at least three things that you know you can feel gratitude towards. And after doing that, it will increase that energy, bringing more things into your life that you can feel grateful for. Tealy fortune card message, you have dolphin. Financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Well, that can certainly create this Ten of Cups energy here. Easygoing, grateful energy. This is usually like the happily ever after card. There could be some kind of investment or something that you did at the end of last year or possibly in January where now you're really um, reaping the benefits here. So very nice start, Virgo, to the month of February. Now, second week in February, you have the Knight of Coins, the Pentacles. So it is something in the material world. It could be money that came in, possibly here in the first week, that you're putting into like maybe an account or something where it's going to grow. This is going to be for your future as the Knight of Coins is about planting the seeds for your future. So you could be absolutely maybe taking advantage of money coming in and investing it further. So Knight of Coins, the Knights, they're all about changes, movement, change. And this could be um, moving things around, shifting things in regards to possibly money, your investments, making it work for you. And this will benefit you in the future. Clarifying card for this, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Four of Wands. This is the card of celebration. This could be that you're attending possibly a wedding, some kind of ceremony, or it could actually indeed be yours. So for some of you, you know, with this Knight of Coins, you're beginning a relationship, you're beginning a life together, maybe getting married. This is some sort of celebration and certainly that would be bringing money in to kick off the start of your marriage. You usually get um, 
monetary gifts for a wedding present. Um, this could possibly be an anniversary for some Virgos, but it is a very celebratory energy. So a really good start here, Virgo, to February. Now your tea leaf fortune card, diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Well, I feel it's more um, incoming kind of energy here. Um, a lot of good luck, good fortune coming your way this month of February. And the first half of February here starting off very nicely for you. Now, going into your third week, you have the Nine of Swords. There is something that is definitely on your mind. It's not going to be on your mind too long because all these swords are pointed down. And that means something that you've been thinking about battling, running through your mind over and over again, is going to be like coming to an end. You do have the nine numerology here. So it is something that you're reviewing. And um, yeah, look in the back here. We do see this face that in this deck, this is actually the devil peeking in. But what I'm picking up from the devil is possibly in regards to what your tea leaf cards are mentioning about some kind of financial gain. The devil can be gambling. So what I'm picking up is more, you might have gambled with your money a little bit. You're a little bit worried, but I think there's a good outcome to this. So let's uh, take a look at your clarifying card for this. Four of Cups. Kind of keeping to yourself in regards to how you're feeling. Four of Cups is a card of, um, well, Nine of Swords is a card of like anxiety and worry and maybe making some kind of investment where you're kind of holding your breath to see how it all works out. So Four of Cups can possibly be some kind of opportunity that could be coming in for you, but um, maybe you're saying no. You might be saying no to it because you're worried. So it is primarily staying put with where you're currently at. And this really is all kind of in regards to money this month of February for you. So let's take a look at your tea leaf fortune card. Boat, money, or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. Well, that can create worry as to if you've got property coming in or money coming in, you have to figure out how you're going to deal with it. Where are you going to put it? Are you going to invest, make an investment? So that can certainly create this nine of swords energy, but it is a temporary energy with the swords pointing down. And now this cup coming to you here, that's kind of making a little bit more sense to me. Um, might be somebody kind of pushing you in regards to what you should do with the money that's coming in or property and you're not having it. You're not going to be taking advantage of that. Somebody's pushing something at you, Virgo, and you're not wanting any part of it. So third week here is a very bittersweet week. You've got money or property coming in, some kind of inheritance, winning, some kind of windfall, and your mental energies will be uh, working overdrive here in the third week in February. So it's good but worrisome. Last week here, you have the Knight of Cups. So another knight coming in this month of February. Knight of Cups is either someone that's going to save the day. Like if you're single, this is someone that's going to help you out in regards to what you're dealing with this month. It could be money matters. So this Knight of Cups could be a financial advisor, but it can also be your energy of getting what you desire. And that certainly could be financial security right now. This can also represent who's trying to push something at you. You're not going to want to do it. Clarifying card for this. Oh my goodness. 
Major Arcana card, the Empress. Wow. You have abundance coming in. This um, three numerology is popping out right away. Something's coming together for you, Virgo. You're creating a very ver fertile like situation environment and it's time to create um, something new, something more. Creating something new with your life. And that can be in regards to financial abundance coming in. Just really exciting energy this month for you, Virgo. So let's take a look at your last message here. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Well, this is certainly, if you have secured enough money for whatever might turn up, in your later years. For some of you, you could be very close to retiring and now you don't have to worry, or you could just be putting things into place. But this last week here, you're kind of getting what you want in regards to maybe financial security. There's abundance coming in and certainly Virgo, wow. You know, you have the dolphin card and all your tea leaf cards, your fortune cards here, Financial gain, possibly um, something coming in that you did in the past that could be investments. You have the diamond card in the second week here, receiving or giving a precious gift. There's something to celebrate here in the second week. And then you have the boat, your ship is coming in and money. It could be um, money coming in, property coming in, inheritance, winning, um, a windfall. It could be something that you were investing in. You were gambling with your money. You stuck to your guns. And now in your last week here, you have this wonderful abundance coming in. Just wonderful, beautiful cards in February. All kind of indicating money, investments, inheritance, and then also sticking to your guns as to what it is you want to do in regards to all of this possible financial abundance coming in. So Virgo, wow, <laughs> that was your tarot card reading for the month of February. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to subscribe, help support my channel, love and obviously abundance to my Virgo family.